Namaste, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thank you so much for bringing your energy to the channel. I really appreciate your spirit and the fact that you're here with me today. So it is Daily Divine Message Reading Day, and the deck I'm using is the Starman Tarot. I know many of you ask me, where did I get this deck? I, I, sh I shopped for it on Amazon. So um, if you're looking to purchase this deck, that's where I found it. And then it came right to my door like two days later. Um, just wanted to say if you guys are beginning at tarot and you really like this deck, but you're brand new, I think this is a bit of a more advanced deck. So um, I'm like, my suggestion is that you wait a little while um, down the road in your studying to start working with this one because it's pretty intense and the meetings are a little bit different. So just my two cents. Okay. So the card I pulled is the five of wands. So in the tarot, fives are typically, fives typically represent conflict or disharmony. So the theatrical over-exaggerated gestures and the strange carnivalesque, carnivalesque masks invite us to take a closer look at the action. I'm reminded of a Spider-Man movie for some reason watching this card right now. Tremendous leaps, kicks, punches, Wands thrown as light javelins demonstrate immense physical powers, athleticism and skill, a youthful bravado, even celebratory, a display of potential lethality. Oh, I can't. Uh, ritualized enactments of conflict, mainly between young men, exist in many cultures around the world. For example, on the island of Lomb Lombok, Indonesia, Armed with long rattan sticks and rectangular light wooden shields, the fighters attack each other under the watchful eye of a referee, accompanied by the metallic timber of traditional, I'm not sure how to pronounce this word, you guys, gamelan music, using a multitude of elaborate gesticulations, often theatrical and comical, they lash out at the opponents with wide-eyed ferocity. Okay, so there's way more guidance in this book about this card, but basically when we see this card, when we pull this card, it's kind of a a, a flag from the universe. It's like a, a yield sign. It's like, you know what, now might not be the best time to bring up your idea, to launch a new business. You might have to look at things a little bit closely. You could be more directly opposed by people than you ever imagined possible. So this is just sort of an indication to wait for divine and perfect timing. Uh, I think I've said this a couple times in readings, but it's always true. So I'm going to say it again. Waiting for the right time to announce something is so key to your life. For me, I like to practice, okay, when the opportunity arises for me to say this, this is what I'm going to say. And then when that door opens for you, you'll know, you'll have just this feeling that, okay, now is my big moment. And you won't be stuck like a deer in the headlights trying to figure out what to say because you already know what to say. So wait for divine and perfect timing because the universe is behind you. It's just all about the right moment to do so. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the card. We'll see you back next time. Take care and have a great day out there. Bye, guys.